Today we're going to show you um, an app and website that you can use in your class to gather formative and summative uh, data on your students. It's called Plickers.com. Autumn showed this to me last spring. Um, didn't have a chance to present it to the staff as a whole. Did have a chance to present it at the We Learn conference as part of one of my Bell to Bell instruction um, pieces. It's a really good item. I think that a lot of you could find different ways that you can use this in your class. So I wanted to offer a, a quick video PD of how this uh, assessment tool works and how you could possibly use it in your class. It's very easy. You, initially you would obviously sign up for an account. Um, it's very basic, typical things that are asked. Once you create an account, some of the early steps that you would need to take would be to print off the cards that they use in class. There are standard sets that come in 40. Obviously you see that you have large font, small font, that those sorts of things that might be needed for students within your class. Um, so you would want to click on these and you print them off. I glued them to um, some cardboard stock. You could print them directly on a little bit heavier paper. You're not going to want to print them on um, soft paper and leave them that way because you'll want to keep these for the whole year. Once you print off your cards, you'll notice that each of them have uh, numbers on them. As you can see, this one's number 10. I would print one set for the entire year and then I would suggest going through and making notes on the back for period one, two, four, etc. Whatever class period you have and write the name that that student's going to use because you're going to want them to use the same number all year long. Um, that way you can set up classes within Plickers and be able to track that individual student each time and the student would come in and know what number that they needed to grab each time and if they forgot their number they could see the name on the back of the card. Once you have your cards printed, um, this is when you'll want to jump into the classes and set up your individual classes. As you can see, um, I have period one listed. I would go through and just continue to add classes um, for each of my classes. However you want to name them would certainly be okay. And then you would go through um, each and you set up each individual student. So, as you can see, we have a bunch of students listed here. Remember the card that I had that I was showing you earlier with the names on the back was number 10. So you have to make sure that you match them up. That way when you start pulling reports and um, getting data on the live view, you'll have the correct student answering each. Um, so, in order to do this, you just simply type names in uh, on here. So, I already had the other 10 already added, but you just simply continue to go in, add the name, and it'll add each student as you go, and it goes all the way down to 40, as mentioned earlier in the card set. So, you have all those available cards over here on the right. It actually goes well past 40, um, but obviously you guys aren't going to need more than that. So once you have all your classes set up, now you're ready to start preparing some questions. That's in the library. You'll see some of the questions that I've already put in that I used earlier. Notice you can insert, you can insert pictures into... Um, the questions as well. We'll make a real simple one for here. 
I can type. And then you mark the box that's correct. You can actually have more than one correct answer. Um, so if you want to just see different ways of thinking, uh, even though there may be multiple correct answers, especially in, in subjects outside of math, you can certainly have that. As you notice, you can do true, false as well. This is where you click the add image if you want to import a, a picture of some sort into it and then you s simply click save once you've clicked save you select the periods that you want <laughs> to add it to you can add it to more than one okay you can remove them by clicking on it then once it's in that period um, you are all set to go by asking the question. Now that you have your classes organized, your questions ready, basically you will now click on Live View. That will bring up um, the question that you currently have um, set for your class to answer. You'll notice the questions over here. You can do full screen. You can hide the panel where it doesn't show um, the students as they answer. You can do a graph. One thing that you always want to keep in mind is you don't want to click on this reveal answer because as you can see it shows the correct answer. Um, so as the students are answering you want to always make sure that that says reveal answer before you make it live because you'll show them um, the answer right off the bat, even in this view, as the students start to answer, it will list them as green or red if they get it correct or incorrect. Um, so you always want to make sure you have hide answer on there. Okay, then you open your app, go to the appropriate class. It'll pull up the question that you have entered. At this point, however you have the question displayed in the classroom, you do, don't have to use the, the web-based version. You could just write it on a, the chalkboard, dry erase board, but you also could present this on your screen. Um, this will be live, so like I showed you earlier, you can hide the panel or not hide the panel. But once the students have all their cards, um, you'll come to this and hit the scan button. And then you'll have to allow it to access your camera. You see all the students in the class. Students will have the cards out at their seats. On each corner of that shape, there's an A, B, C, or D. They hold it with the appropriate letter facing up. You as a teacher scan it. It'll collect the information. We got Kelly's. Let's go to the next one, next card. And you'll just go through, got it. and it keeps scanning each one and you can see on your end it shows you how they're getting it right or wrong as they're going.